Dan Brakeva here. Happy to introduce my viewers to the most important game of my childhood. My absolute favorite. A game almost nobody remembers, that would never be as popular today as it was when it first came out, but is still a really enjoyable game. First, a little info. A lot of people remember Myst, which was released in 1993 and had several sequels, and even a remake in 2000. What does this have to do with Cosmic Osmo? Both games were developed by Cyan, and designed by Robin and Rand Miller. And it shows that they were designed by the same people. I mean, the gameplay and controls are very similar. The biggest difference is that Cosmic Osmo has no real plot. You'll see what I mean once we get into the game, but don't expect any in-depth character exploration. Of course, when I played Myst, I never cared about the story anyway. I just like to wander around and look at the beautiful scenery. Also, no puzzles! <laughs> now, let us begin playing Cosmic Osmo. I love the music of this game. A lot of this uh, playthrough will focus on the music because it's just so good. And there's so much of it. So, randomly click on things and stuff happens. When I was little, that used to terrify me. The music and the, the dancing... What are they? Cellos? So creepy. Of course, I was like four years old, so... Look, more music! I just love the music. So, press that, you can shoot swabs at stuff. These seven buttons represent the seven different planets you can visit. Um, this we will uh, be visiting later when we visit another planet. Because all, all the planets interact with each other. Uh, you can get from one planet to another very easily without using the Osmobile. So, here we are. Very eerie music. And yes, we just walked into a tomato. Whoa. A salad doesn't flat when it swims in vinaigrette. But personally, I'm not pleased to be smothered in blue cheese. So, yeah, he's a salad. He's a French salad. Um, this place is called the Vegetable Moon for reasons that are kind of obvious. Everything's fruits and vegetables.
suppose. Okay, whoa, oh, uh, no! Ah! Ah! I think I just ate my hand! Yeah, your hand is in constant danger in this. There's just a ton of things that will destroy it. So we use this odd looking telephone to call back to the ship. The answering machine because I'm not there to answer. Uh, and there's an olive that does that. Okay. Guitar. Yeah, the guitar makes noise, but it's pretty glitchy. Fish puzzle. And the puzzle's already finished. When you complete the puzzle... It smiles at you! And again, clicking the lamps just makes it flash. So, exploring this room, we have some... Chinese symbols... And this is basically a. This is a shooting game. A target practice. You shoot the pumpkins and the Osmo in a kimono. For some reason. And if you get enough of them in a the row, the Osmobile will come and pick you up. And as you can see, this is a planet. The planet we had visited before. This planet has a very strange name. Um, I don't really like this one. We'll check it out later, but... If you remember, this is the banana phone. Hello? I could live for days on a jar of mayonnaise. Au revoir. Yeah, he's French. I don't know. This is kind of interesting. You shoot it with the swabs. <laughs> uh, this is the holy mackerel. Yeah. Um, yeah. You are the busiest alien to ever wrap around our humble solar system. And since we are in their solar system, that makes us the aliens. This device, as you can see, is a tape player, and see those instruments off to the right? You can use those to record music. See if they, uh, each one makes a different sound, and you can use the tape player to record. and then rewind and play it back. Hmm. EXPLOSION IN THE FIREPLACE! Okay, that's it for this episode of Cosmic Osmo. Join me next time where we do some more exploring. See you then!